Today, firefighters from across the state joined the city of Homewood to say farewell to the city's longtime fire chief. John Bresnan was laid to rest today. Bresnan was Alabama's longest serving fire chief. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark is live outside Homewood City Hall after the lengthy procession through Homewood City streets, Michael. Yeah, good evening, Jack and Sherry. John Bresnan's office was here at Homewood City Hall, and already tonight you can see bows and red and black placed here in his memory. But today we saw that procession. Impressive firefighters from as much as an hour away came to pay final respects. This afternoon, a family of first responders. Today is a solemn occasion for the fire service. Formed a sea of blue and red lights for one of their own. We've lost a great man and a great friend. Longtime Homewood Fire Chief John Bresnan. John was a leader one minute and a friend the next, whatever you needed. Retired Hoover Fire Captain Rusty Lowe has known Bresnan since their time in the Center Point Fire District before Bresnan left to lead Homewood in the early 90s. The citizens of Homewood reaped the benefits of having him as a chief, and so, so did the fire department. So as a brotherhood, we all come together today to honor and celebrate John's career in life. Bresnan died unexpectedly at work last week, and today brothers and sisters in red came from all over to remember the state's longest standing fire chief. After he became fire chief at Homewood, he continued to be mentors to folks all across the state. Center Point Fire Chief Gene Coleman remembers Bresnan as a good friend and devoted fireman. During the years, uh, he was a mentor to me, being uh, a company officer as I was growing up in the fire service. We, we did a lot of different things. I was honored to have him travel to uh, my wife and my wedding. President's casket was carried behind a Homewood fire engine today past City Hall and to his final resting place. And tonight, his colleagues say he'll be missed but not forgotten. Losing life is, is awful, but uh, we can also rejoice that we'll see him again. Now, Bresden leaves behind a family, including a daughter. He was 58 years old. We're now reporting live outside of Homewood City Hall tonight. Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.